Have you wondered what the difference is between good and bad cholesterol? I'm Dr. Omar Owan. I'm a physician, senior public health contributor for Forbes and MedPage Today columnist. I'm going to demystify everything you need to know about cholesterol. So cholesterol is a waxy substance that we all need in our bodies to actually function normally. It's important for us to develop nutrients, hormones, and even vitamins. But too much cholesterol can be bad because what happens is that some of that cholesterol gets... Uh, clogged in our vessels and it narrows our vessels and that can lead to many devastating consequences. Things like high blood pressure, heart disease, stroke, and even diabetes. And cholesterol normally is made and formed in our body, but we also take in cholesterol from some of the foods that we eat, particularly foods that are high in cholesterol and high in saturated fats. And when we take in too much cholesterol, that can be bad for our body. So what is cholesterol and how is it measured at a doctor's office? Well, you may have realized that if you go to a doctor's office, you get something called a lipid panel, which is a blood test that identifies different parts of your cholesterol. And sometimes that is broken down into total cholesterol, LDL or low density lipoprotein, HDL or high density lipoprotein, and triglycerides. Okay. So Total cholesterol is the total amount of cholesterol in your body, and it's always measured in milligrams of cholesterol per deciliter of blood. LDL, or low-density lipoprotein, that's the bad type of cholesterol, and that is the type of cholesterol that gets deposited in your arteries, your vessels, and that can narrow arteries and block vessels and result in all the things and complications that we talked about earlier. HDL or high density lipoprotein is a good cholesterol and it's a good cholesterol because it removes that bad cholesterol from the body and transports it to the liver. And in that way, it's reducing the amount of bad cholesterol, so to speak, in your body. And triglycerides are another form of fat that can be found in your blood and that can also elevate your risk of heart disease. So what are the optimal values for cholesterol? Well, honestly, it depends on your age, your sex, your ethnicity, even your risk factors, but in general, for most people and for most adults, having a total cholesterol of under 200 milligrams per deciliter is optimal. Having triglycerides under 150 milligrams per deciliter is optimal. Having an LDL or low density lipoprotein of less than 100 milligrams per deciliter is optimal. And having an HDL, ideally above 60, above 60 is good, but for men, if you're above 40 and for females, if you're above 50, that's pretty good. So that those are the important things that you want to know about cholesterol. And also, it's so important to monitor your diet, right? So the foods that are very bad for you for cholesterol are things that are like fried foods, baked goods like brownies, cookies, red meat. Uh, those are high fat dairy foods, you know, things like milk, cheese. You know, those are things that have high cholesterol that will elevate your cholesterol. So all the alternatives that you may want to consider are things like whole grains, fruits, vegetables, cooking and vegetable oil, those are things that can potentially lower your cholesterol. The other important thing I want to talk about is, is that exercise is really good because exercise can elevate your HDL and that's the good type of cholesterol, right? And then also smoking cigarettes can lower your HDL, which is bad, right? Because we want to have high HDL. And alcohol drinking, if you drink too much, it can elevate your total cholesterol. So all these things, these lifestyle modifications are important and necessary for us to lower and minimize our cholesterol so that we can live healthier. Well, how often should you get screened for cholesterol? Well, honestly, you should start when you're about nine to 11 years old. So even at the age of 10, you should be getting your cholesterol checked and it should be checked every five years. If you're a male, by the time you're 45, you should start getting it every two years till you're about 65 years old. And if you're a female, you should start checking your cholesterol every two years at the age of 55 until you're 65. Once we all reach 65 years of age, we should be checking our cholesterol every year. So hope that was helpful. Hope that demystifies what good and bad cholesterol is. Please subscribe to the MedEd page. And as always, please be kind to yourself and to those around you.